Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm just uh, making a, another video about my, uh, not unboxing. Well, yeah, maybe it's another unboxing, but like how I promised from my past video, like a more in-depth look of the Street Fighter 25th Anniversary uh, box set or collector's edition. So let's get into this. And then again, using a more better, uh, what do you call it, the video file or more like more high def or more detail. So... I don't know, when I make my long videos, I use like that EP mode so I can make long videos. So that's why sometimes the quality looks kind of like pixelated or even though it's supposed to be 1080p, you know, the other video quality, but eh, whatever. But again, sorry for the glare and all that, but trying to show more of the detail and hopefully all the content. So, so see, real sharp the picture quality. So again, 1080p, I guess, whatever, for being the camera that I use and all that. So. But the only little downside about everything is the lighting that I got in my room, so kind of sucks. But anyways, here's uh, the the box set thing. Even though I got everything loose, so yeah, you guys already kind of already saw. So, but I really like the little the matte finish kind of thing, and it got this. Uh, I don't know, man. Like the freaking because a lot of people probably thought that it was just gonna be like ah, it's just gonna be like a regular little box and maybe just little paint sheen. No, man, the box is like it's pretty fucking it's fucking badass, man. Like really, I don't know. It got around the whole box. It has this little I don't know this little carpet. I don't know whatever the hell you call it, you know. And then the little the, the 3D effect, the symbol of Akuma, and it does have the little metal plated little aluminum little things on the side. So that's pretty badass. But anyway, no one doesn't want to see that. So, but yeah, the box is uh, content. But, but again, I already have everything kind of like loose in here. So, again, sorry for the quality of it. it's not gonna show everything, but I'm gonna show everything. So I guess when you first open it, it's supposed to have the thing. You know, the ah uh, again, <laughs> the card of the of the official street the Street Fighter 25th anniversary collection. And again, just the way it looks. Pretty badass. It's uh, made out of the cardboard Capcom, and I got the what? There it is. Oh, there you go. So see, that's what I mean. Like that's the number. This is my number. So I don't know what what number you guys have. You know, whoever owns the same set. So I got that. That's my number of the. So and then the autograph of the dude, the maker of the game or whatever. It says Sharokin or whatever the fuck. So pretty badass, man. The the certificate thing. Okay, that's one thing, and then again, now you, when you pull back this thing, you get the art book. So I like the way they kind of have it hidden in the back, all pretty badass, and the little doors shut. Uh, magnet, I guess it has like a magnet thing, yeah. It just, and here you go. Pretty badass, man. Really love this fucking art book, man. The tribute art, it's pretty cool, man. And I'm still going to try to pick up those other books that are coming out. Or I guess they're already out. The, like the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and the Tekken, I mean the Street Fighter Cross Tekken artworks. So I still want to try to pick up those guys. But at least I got this and I'm happy with, with this. So hopefully in this video I'm showing, hopefully I show every, not every page. But oh yeah, that's what I'm going to try to do. Try to show, but kind of go kind of quick. Because again, I already have, how far you guys probably already own this already or you yeah, already know what's up. So yeah, pretty badass, man. Really love the fucking work, man. Real funny and, I don't know, real badass, man. And then again, a big plus for me is because, again, I'm a drawer, you know. And I'm getting, I'm sorry, even this channel, I don't show, like, none of my work. But I'm going to try to later on show a little bit more of my, my drawings, the way I draw and stuff. So you guys will check it out later on when I start making videos about that. That's pretty cool. Next page. And Dawson. Again, sorry for the the glare. Whoa. Is it me? There's like fucking two chicks trying to get Ryu, man. There's Chun Li, even though they make her like she's always with Gaio and shit all the time, but they always make her being the girl for Ryu. But isn't it supposed to be uh, Sakura? A little too young there, girl. <laughs> Guess she wants that old meat. She was an old guy. I mean, an older dude. How stupid. Let's see again. Chilling and Ryu, but. I thought Sakura was all like in love with Ryu and shit. Fucking Ken, all fucking sad and shit. Just. Whatever. Blondie. 
Oh, and Barbie, that's his name, Barbie. Or, Bur I mean, Barbie. Fucking Birdie, fuck, man, shit. Fucking messing up the names. This guy's pretty fucking tripped out character, man. In the Alpha series. Hugo. Bison. Fucking bastard. Busted. Pretty funny. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Again, sorry for the glare, but hope you guys can still see the quality. I really like this one. Pretty badass and shit. It's like him kind of young, and then it shows the shadow when he like it gets, he gets older or something. Zangief. Oh, he's gonna be in that fucking movie, that Wrecking Ralph or whatever. That's pretty funny. And then Bison too, I guess during the movie. That's pretty cool, man. With that they're making some some kind of CGI movie, something like that, showing, you know, our favorite um, video game characters or whatever the fuck come to life, you know, or being in the big screen. So that's gonna be pretty cool, man. Hopefully that. I for sure I'm gonna go see that damn movie that Wrecking Ralph or whatever it's called. So yeah. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Lost my thread of thought right there for a second. Let's do it. Yep, the beauties. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> what the The twins or whatever the fuck you call them? The brothers. Blinky. I mean Blanca. What the fuck? Little sack boy. Uh, right there. He's like fighting Ryu. Biting the shit out of him. I guess that's the point what they're trying to do. <laughs> Again, sorry for the glare and all that. I guess it's supposed to be like the figures or like a 3D kind of look. It looks like like toys, but you know. this chick trips me out, man. But she's pretty hot too. Oh, for being a you know fighter character, um, game character person. I don't know. She kind of trips me out. The Yuri, kind of hot too. She's kind of crazy in the head, but whatever. Kind of like that in the girl. All oh, fucked up. Ryu versus Sagat. Even though in the fucking games now that I noticed that they make Sagat being a good guy now, or like he's kind of like a bad guy, but then he's a good guy. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't know. Rose. Mm hmm. Yep. All pissed off right there and shit. Zagif. Chun Li, Ryu, Gully, and Gaio. The first Ryu, or from the first game, and it shows <laughs> what the fuck. He's like, What the fuck? Pretty cool, man. Pretty badass, man. I really love this stuff, man. Very cool, very detailed and shit. Or like the way they present it, you know. That's pretty cool. Right. Doing the fireball, I mean the Hadouken, or uh, Shoruken, or whatever, I mean, yeah, Hadouken. The Dark Hodo. Akuma. And this tripped out chick. <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't see this one. Pretty tripped out, kind of funny. The Chun Li anniversary cake. Yep. The hell? Man, I bet the guys when that time came for the fucking Super Street Fighter went, in those years, I bet the fucking developers were like, you know what, man, guys? We're gonna have to sell some sex or something. We're gonna need some more uh, sex appeal in this game. Let's just make Chun Li bend over when she does a fireball. And boom, and it worked. Or how they call her? Thunder Thighs? <laughs> oh, let's show this part. Fucking Zangief eating a fucking chicken, turkey, whatever the fuck. Fucking Ken always pissed off. I don't know for fucking some reason. Honda, Blinky, Chun Li. 
Like, is it supposed to be, uh, what's his name, uh, pinche Bruce Lee, but, uh, fucking... Fee Long? There we go, Fee Long. It's supposed to be Fee, Fee Lang or Fee Long. Kind of tripped, huh? That was pretty cool. Yeah. This guy got shocked to hell. Fucking Blanca. Yeah, again, I'm just showing all the, the you know, in depth, the look of everything, so that's why I'm trying to show everything and shit. But for being the detail, the video, or the quality, it's probably going to take a while to download, I mean, upload and shit, because you know, it's probably going to be like 2 gigs or a gig or some fucking bullshit. It takes like 30 minutes for me to upload, or less, I guess, I don't know. Very cool, man. Very badass. Chandy and shit. Next page. Yuri. And sorry for the glare. Oh, focus. That was kind of tripped out, but very cool. It's like the shadow effect. Whoa, who's that? See some butt action. It's Chun Li versus. Huh? Yep. Just telling by the the form. Yep. It's a uh, Cami. No wonder why she always fucking beats the shit out of the guys, or she she gets them all easily and shit because fucking. Come on, man, a girl wearing some fucking green little spandex fucking bikini looking fucking outfit with some fucking boots and, I mean, combat boots and wearing some paint on her legs. I'm going to be distracted too. Shit. What the fuck? Fucking cheeseburger. Ooh, fucking blood and guts everywhere. Kuma. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We're almost getting there. We're almost getting there. Just showing all the... Seriously, man. This chick fucking... Yep. She likes going commando or what, man? I always hear that damn saying or the little quotes that a lot of people say like that. Eh. Like, she's not wearing nothing under there. You know that, right? I'm like, I don't know. She's probably wearing a pasty or something, but I, I don't know about that. That's the face that I get when I saw that. I'm like, what? How oh, stupid. What is it? What is it? Pretty badass art. It's like all the, everybody fighting. And then somebody driving a car. I'm like, what the fuck? That's pretty tripped up. Ibuki. There you go. Ibuki. Cody. Motherfucker always wants to be in jail and shit. He doesn't want to go out. He fucking wants to kick everybody's ass, but he wants to come back to jail. I'm like, what the fuck? What the hell's your damn problem, son? I think he likes the food. We'll see. Yep, playing on a PS3. Everybody's playing a PS3. So uh, people don't have to be talking sh stuff. Nah, just kidding. Remember, it's all good, man. 360 or whatever. I guess somebody's playing 362, and I guess they're playing the 3DS right here or something. The 3D whatever. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. That's pretty badass. They're always eating noodles. Fucking Akuma eating some fucking Roman noodles and shit. Hopefully it shows. There you go. <laughs> fucking Blanca's all like, oh, I'm gonna get some. Oh, this is pretty badass. And Yuri and Cami or the artwork. Chun Li in the background. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought too, man. <laughs> the faces when they get their asses whooped. Fucking right you all fucked up and shit. Very good. I mean uh Vega. This guy's fucking name, uh man. <laughs> A lot of people just make fun with the name, man, like because when you say the name, his name in uh, Spanish, or if you try to pronounce it in Spanish, 
it's basically yeah the let's just say the downstairs part of a girl <laughs> so I, I think that's where they get the jokes from and shit or sometimes they come up with the jokes from the name of his come on man when you fucking pronounce it you you know what I'm talking about but anyways pretty cool Cammy and Chun-Li doing this fucking their powers or whatever fucking Akuma dozing off and shit in class nah that's not good man that's not good <laughs> always fucking thinking about destroying the world and shit oh this was very cool man I really like this one pretty badass the detail and the, the what they what they went for here that's pretty cool it's supposed to be like it's Ryu and Ken back in the days playing the Super Street Fighter I guess arcade and it's supposed to be Ryu again sorry for the glare And that's about it. The last page is uh, 20, 25 perfect years and more to come. No shit. <laughs> Can't wait, man, for the next year. Because we all know there's probably going to be a part 5 or some shit next year or something. Now for the how all these damn new consoles are coming out or whatever, there's probably going to be another Street Fighter. Just watch. Okay, that was the art book, the tribute art. So now the next little piece is the figure. And here's the Ryu. No figure. Showing the detail. The flames. Pretty badass. Then inside here, we you kind of pay attention. Whoa. My bad. Kind of, I don't know if it's going to show uh, right there. It's supposed to say that. It's supposed to say Street Fighter in there. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It didn't show the bottom part. So, yeah. It says the focus capcom and takes a little and it comes with when you anyone got this set it does come with the two little batteries and then there's a little on and off switch i'll turn it on right now capcom blah 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 and there you go boom whoa fucking 3d effect fucking tron and shit all stupid but anyways very cool man then again like the same statue like the one from i don't know enter bay or hot toys i don't know who made it but yeah the, that big ass statue of ryu with the one that lights up kind of like the same design look to it so I don't know, man. This is very cool, man. Fucking the love of detail and the way it looks. So I hope you guys can see that. And yes, again, it does come with the batteries. So you don't have to be thinking, oh, it doesn't even come with batteries. Yeah, it does. So, yeah. Pretty cool, man. Fucking the detail and shit. Hope he shows in the camera. Very cool, man. And you could just, again, just turn it off from the... In the bottom, right there. And there you go. So that was the street for the Ryu little statue, light up statue. And then uh, real fast, get the. I guess this is called the dogi or whatever. My bad. I, I guess I was saying that for the the symbols, but yeah, it's the same thing. Whatever. The black belt or Ryu. Well, I get it has to be from Ryu or Ryu or Ryu, or it could be from Akuma, whichever one you guys could think. But I think, yeah, this is the right one. So, yeah, it comes with that. And, again, I didn't want to take it out. But you guys could already see the detail. Or you guys know what it is already anyway. So, that's very cool, man. And, yes, again, it's like a real size, real life size uh, black belt. I'm not saying for you kids or people to fucking be wearing this if you want. Yeah, I guess you can wear it if you go to a karate class or something. I don't know what the fuck, man. Pretty cool just to have for part of the collection. So, yeah, that's the, the, black, the black belt from Ryu. And the movies. And the games. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Now talking about that. So again, here's the Blu-ray. I didn't show the detail or the what the content is. So again, sorry for the glare, sorry for the shakiness. So yeah, that's the Blu-ray. And I'm guessing maybe I don't know. I think a friend of mine or Lockett was telling me that it. I guess he wanted to know if they sold it separate. I'm guessing they probably do, man. But you probably gotta go to like Future Shop or Best Buy or one of those type of places, man, where they sell mostly movies and shit and. They might have it. I'm guessing them. They should sell this separately, but if they don't, maybe it's just for this set. In the back, but I'll talk a little bit more about this. So the contents. What I forgot to say in my the unboxing video was it comes. It's it's a two disc Blu-ray set, and it comes with a. I am the Street Fighter 25th anniversary commentary video. That's on one of the disc, and it comes with the Street Fighter. Street Fighter 2 animated movie. So that's two things on one disc. And then on the second disc, it comes with the Street Fighter 4 origin film. Or the, the movie or whatever, the film. And then the Street Fighter 4, uh, 
the ties that bind. Well, that's the movie. My bad. That's the movie. The movie, and then again, the one where it's mostly about Yuri, the way the, how she got made or whatever. That uh, that C, uh, cartoon movie. So that's pretty badass. And then the Street Fighter animated series. So that's pretty cool. I haven't got to see none of these yet, except just the uh, the tie that, and it looks fucking badass in 1080p. But yeah. Oh, but the. The Street Fighter, the movie, animated movie, that's still, yeah, it's in 1080p, but they, they got it, the source, it's the, the DVD copy version. So, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that's a downside, but hey, badass, it's still the movie, so it's still good, you know. But it's like the DVD quality, but in a blue in a Blu-ray, so, I guess, but, suppose it's supposed to be 1080p, but, it's all good, man, having all the set, that's pretty badass. So, yeah, it comes with all those movies and the documentary, and the documentary... Very cool, man. It shows the inside of the whole history and, I don't know, like I guess all the collectors of the whole world. People that collect, you know, Street Fighter merchandise. That's very cool, man. So, so yeah. Badass to have, man. And now this is the game. The, the two-set thing. Again, sorry for all the fucking glares of the lighting. Maybe that this thing should have gone in here. I guess that's what it's for. So, I guess this is the manual what that guy's talking about. This could be your own manual, and, and there's the codes, and I'll talk about that right now. What's the point of this? The Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, and the Street Fighter Cross Tekken. So this are the codes. What I didn't explain in the other video was that you get all the download uh, games and content, but for being the PS3, or I don't know if it's the same thing for the 360, but when I put this code in, I got more content. There's actually more content. You get instead of getting all this, yeah, you get the, the Street Fighter, the remix, and then the Third Strike, duh. And then yeah, we already have this, but this is all the content, so that's separate. You get those two games, and then you get Alpha Alpha Two, Alpha Three, and I guess Street Fighter Alpha, and then a lot of packs uh, and a lot of the Avatar packs. So yeah, that's a badass fucking deal, man. That's pretty badass. I didn't even think it was gonna come with all those games as well. So. You get a lot of stuff, you know, for this uh, for this set, you know. Even though, yeah, it might say that. Hopefully, it shows. Or really the, there you go. Yeah, it shows right there what it comes with. But there's more content to this thing, so that's pretty badass, man. This thing comes with a lot of content. It's not just these. It's not just these four fucking things. It's a lot of stuff more. So yeah. So the final thing, the CDs, the soundtracks. I got this kind of mixed up, but, but again, just showing you again the the way the CDs are. And they have the little things. Let me show you again real quick. So how this box thing works or the way it looks inside. They have the little edges inside that you just you just slide in the little, the CDs in there. That's where they're supposed to go. It's like that's the point of this box that you leave the stuff in there. Why the hell would you want to put this somewhere else? Maybe that's the reason why they came in the little plastic thing so they could fit in the thing, you know? Yeah, it's cool to ha it would have been cool. It's cool that they did make the case, but then everything would still be all fucking jumping everywhere. So that's the reason why they did it like this, so they could have the little, you know, it just slides in there real quick, and boom, it just stays in there or whatever. So yeah, that's one of the CDs. Again, the fan made original work soundtrack. I'm trying to go fast because I just noticed this is a long ass video, and I know this video is gonna take a long time to upload, so. I'm just trying to hurry up. Is that one? I really love the artwork, man. It's all the right use over the years, so that's pretty badass. That's a that's pretty cool. Again, sorry for the glare. And the last two. So yeah, so this was the, I guess, a more in-depth look of the Street Fighter 25th anniversary uh, box set, I guess you could say. 
So I hope you guys, uh, again, more <laughs> questions or what you think of the, or whoever owns it more or whatever. So this is my video again, try, just trying to show more of the of the box set of this thing. So I don't know. I really enjoy it, man. It's uh, to me, for being the 150 or whatever, let me put a little bit more of the. <laughs> it's very cool, man. So I don't know. To me, yeah, it is worth it, man, because you do get a lot of content for being, well, again, for being like this is the, the street, the fucking, the PS3 version, but you get a lot of stuff, man, so it's like, I don't know, it's to each his own, you know, like, even for being a non-fan, I know a non-fan would probably, like, really love this set, and then again, for being someone that doesn't have the games, or a new gamer, but like I said, with me, even though I had some of the games, this is still a big fucking plus for me, man, and I really, enjoy, uh, I really love it. I really like it, man. So to me, it is worth it. But I don't know. So I hope you guys enjoy and, you know, comment, rate, or all that stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. So take care, everybody. Peace out.